I'm Callan Hobman. Here are some of the stories we're following this morning. Overseas in Afghanistan, more than 1,000 people were killed and 1,500 more injured after a magnitude 6.1 earthquake hit just before 11.30 p.m. A spokesperson for the Pakistan Armed Forces expressing deep condolences over tragic loss on Twitter saying, quote, the armed forces of Pakistan are ready to provide all possible humanitarian assistance to the people of Afghanistan, end quote. According to reports, a team of medics and several helicopters have been deployed to the area to transport injured people to nearby hospitals. The quake is said to be the deadliest to hit the Asian nation in decades. We will continue to keep you updated on this. Meanwhile, back here at home, you have an opportunity to input some change here in Bakersfield today. A visioning workshop is happening at the Friendship House Community Center on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. It's happening at 4 p.m. There will be a discussion for the general plan, an overall guide for community growth, housing, transportation, and quality of life. Spanish translation will also be provided and there will be children's activities. The entire community is invited to come and share your vision for our city's future. City officials also want to know what you think the future should look like in East Bakersfield. It's a project that hopes to transform the area one neighborhood at a time. A town hall meeting is set for tomorrow night to begin planning the first of many prosperity neighborhoods. The city of Bakersfield will use Measure N and federal funding to begin, quote, significant investments in historically disadvantaged neighborhoods. Now, phase one will focus on the Niles and Monterey Street corridor from Virginia Avenue to Union Avenue, one of many areas in East Bakersfield that were developed more than 70 years ago. So initially we're talking about uh, improvements to the physical landscape. Okay. So uh, street improvements, uh, safer streets for bicyclists and for walkers, additional street lighting enhancements, okay. making sure that, that every neighborhood has adequate sidewalks. And, uh, and, and so there, there's just a whole multitude of different things that we want to see in this community. Gonzalez says he needs input from neighbors so that the project takes a meaningful approach to what residents want to see in their neighborhood. Then they're going to pursue the funding. The meeting is Thursday at the Boys and Girls Club on Nile Street starting at 6.30 p.m. Well, we had a rainy start to our Wednesday with lightning and thunder. Here's a look at our full forecast with 23 BC's Veronica Morley. Hey, good morning. Thunderstorms making their way into our areas this week. You can see most of our mountain and desert areas feeling that heavy rain pour and that thunder and lightning impacting us all across Kern County. But hopefully by Thursday, it should start to make its way out of our areas. Now with these thunderstorms, what we're really monitoring is those lightning chances, potentially sparking wildfires with these dry conditions. Unfortunately, the rain evaporating, so it could potentially spark those wildfires and they won't be able to be improved headed with the rain. Here's a look at our temperatures this week, though. 96 in Bakersfield and then heating back up into those hundreds for the rest of this week. Our mountain communities and desert areas seeing 80s today and the mount, or desert areas seeing much of the storm. Our mountain communities warming up into the rest of this week and this weekend as the storm makes its way out of our areas. Definitely stay dry out there. Those are some of the stories we're following this morning. We'll bring you another update later today.